Understanding the phrase, ears pricked up. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating English phrase, ears pricked up. This phrase is commonly used in both spoken and written English, and understanding it can add a unique flair to your English skills. So, let's dive in and learn all about it. Ears pricked up is an idiomatic expression used to describe a situation where someone becomes suddenly attentive or interested in something. Imagine a dog's reaction when it hears an unfamiliar sound. Its ears stand up as it becomes more alert. This imagery is the essence of the phrase. It's often used to convey that someone has become keenly interested in what is being said or happening around them. The phrase, ears pricked up, originates from the animal kingdom, particularly observed in dogs and horses. When these animals become alert or attentive, their ears stand erect, or prick up, indicating their heightened interest or awareness. This physical reaction has been translated into a metaphorical expression in the English language, capturing the idea of a person becoming similarly alert or interested. 1. When she mentioned a trip to Paris, everyone's ears pricked up. This sentence shows heightened interest at the mention of something exciting. 2. My ears pricked up when I heard my hometown mentioned in the news. Here, the phrase is used to show sudden attention due to a personal connection. 3. In the meeting, his ears pricked up at the mention of a promotion. This illustrates increased alertness due to a topic of personal importance. There are several expressions in English that convey a similar meaning. For example, perked up. This often refers to someone becoming more cheerful or lively. Sat up and took notice. This phrase is used to describe someone paying close attention due to sudden interest. That's all for our exploration of ears pricked up. Remember, this phrase is a fantastic way to describe sudden interest or attentiveness in English. We hope this video has been informative and engaging for you. Keep practicing, and soon, you'll find yourself using these expressions naturally in your conversations. Happy learning, and see you in our next video!